Joe Biden's presidency has always been a race against the clock. The clock here is the midterm elections, when it is very likely that the Democrats will lose control of one or both houses of Congress. Therefore, to pass Biden's legislative agenda, the Democrats and the Biden administration have always had to move quickly before the November, well, before January of 2023, or before something happens to some U.S. Senator that could tip the balance of the Senate and give the majority back to the Republicans. But two factors have now accelerated that clock. One is the withdrawal from Afghanistan, which has caused Biden's poll numbers to go down slightly, which will burn up several weeks of the American political class talking about it, and which will give emboldened Republicans to talk more, to try more, to stop Biden and try to reverse course on some of the things they've done in the past to help Biden, for example, on the infrastructure bill. The second is the Delta variant. And unlike the Afghanistan withdrawal, the Delta variant is not at all anything to do with anything that Joe Biden did. In fact, Joe Biden, as president, has done whatever he can to stop the spread of COVID. It is Republican governors who are causing the spread of the Delta variant by advocating against good health measures like, you know, vaccinations and masks. And in doing that, they are slowing down the Biden agenda and helping their party. So one has to ask the question, what is the real political motivation behind these Republican governors who are trying to raise their profile, help raise themselves within the Trump cult, and stop the Biden agenda? And what is the price they're paying for that? Well, the price is American lives.